So I'd like to live a long life, but I'm actually more interested in living a quality of life. I don't want to end up in a nursing home drooling from the mouth with being fed through a nasogastric tube and living in bed all day. That's not my idea of fun. And it's about keeping this thing intact, this thing intact, the brain, what's in that cranium. And so how do you do that? We've been speaking about the three strategies for keeping dementia at bay, and we talk about exercise. Now let's talk about the three best exercises for keeping dementia at bay. And look, it's not rocket science. The first one is aerobic activity. What do we mean by aerobic? You often see it described as steady state. Or zone two cardio. That is stuff like you're running, you're walking, cycling, you're swimming, stuff that you're doing probably over some distance, but at a fairly steady state. What does that do? It improves your, what they call your VO2 max. This is your body's efficiency at using oxygen. That's really important. Obviously your brain needs oxygen. Your, every tissue needs oxygen. And when you do that sort of exercise, you're improving your body's efficiency at bringing oxygen into the system and then distributing it through the system, in particular your brain. It also stimulates what we call angiogenesis. That is the uh, new formation of blood vessels. Now, one of the most common forms of dementia is vascular dementia. What do we mean by that? The deterioration or the loss of blood vessels. So your brain is being starved of blood, hence starved of oxygen, starved of the nutrients that help your brain. So if you want to increase your brain's capacity to survive the length of our life, then you need to be doing some form of steady state aerobic exercise, improve that VO2 max. So what's next? We want to do some resistance work. What's resistance work? Well, you could do weights, you could do band work with bands, resistant bands, you could do stuff like Pilates, you could do body weight, exercises, body weight resistance, resistance exercises. You could even do swimming because you're pushing against the resistance of water. So that's a resistance type of resistance exercise. What are you doing when you do resistance? Well, it's pretty obvious. You're building muscle, you're maintaining muscle. Not only maintaining, but hopefully building it because we all, particularly when you get past the age of about 30, we start losing muscle sometimes at the rate of about 1% a year. So over a decade, you could lose 10% of your muscle mass over 30 or 40 years. You've lost 40%, 35% of your muscle mass. That's huge. What do muscles do? Well, muscle is an organ in reality. It does a lot of things. One, it helps use energy, so it helps control your blood glucose level, and that's really important. Some of the experts call dementia type three diabetes, such is the importance of the, of the, of the uh, blood sugar and controlling blood sugar. But also, uh, muscles excrete myokines. Myokines, it's a chemical that then combats cytokines. What are cytokines? Cytokines are the chemicals that are involved in inflammatory reactions. So when we have inappropriate inflammatory reactions or long lasting inflammatory reactions, we know that that chronicity causes problems for the body. What do myokines do? What myokines dampen the effect of the cytokine. So you can, by building muscle, you actually gain control or help gain control of rampant or out of control inflammatory reactions. So myokines really important. So muscle is really important. So if you're not doing some resistance work later in life, you are putting yourself at a disadvantage. You've got to maintain that muscle. You've got to build that muscle. So what's number three? This is interesting, this might help a lot of you. Dance and martial arts.
Why are they so good? One, well, you're doing steady state exercise. You are doing some resistance work because obviously dance and martial arts requires body weight movements. But also you're doing balance work. So I like dance and martial arts from the perspective of my three M's. You're getting movement, you're getting memory involvement. So to do those movements, you've got to tap into your memory system. So it's helping you retain memory and also build the, particularly the hippocampus, which is involved in memory, and you're maintaining balance. So movement, memory, maintain balance. All things that tend to deteriorate as we age, but all things that you can maintain and improve by doing some sort of dance and martial arts. So I hope that helps you in your journey to health and well-being and living a life where you can live it to the full. You're not going to end up at the end of your life, even having a long life, but you're sitting in a friggin' wheelchair in a nursing home, not able to do the things you want to be doing, not able to travel, not able to enjoy life. So my desire for you is to adopt this exercise format to improve your lifestyle and to lessen your risk of developing dementia and cognitive decline. Hope that helps. If you like it, buy me a coffee in the link below and follow, like and share. Catch you later.